Chapter 6 Device Maintenance The device should be kept in a clean, well-ventilated, temperature-controlled environment. Make sure there is a minimum of 15 inches or 40 centimeters around the device for airflow. In the back of the device, you will find the on-off button, the interlock key, the foot pedal insert, the device filter, and water canister. The water canister should only be filled with distilled or deionized water and should be checked weekly. The back filter is easily removed and cleaned with a vacuum or canned air once per week. The delivery system consists of the electrical cord, the cryogen line, and the optical fiber. It must be handled at all times with extreme care. Make sure the cables are hung and not on the floor. When attaching the delivery system to the device, always attach the optical fiber first, lining it up and pushing. When detaching, release the fiber last by pulling back on the metal portion. To attach the electrical cord, line up the red dot to the red line. When detaching, simply pull back on the metal portion. When attaching the cryogen line, you must push in the metal attachment and insert the line. The metal attachment will spring back securing the line. To release, once again push in the metal attachment. The valve is under pressure and you will hear a rushing sound. The handpiece components are the filter, button release for slider attachment, inner tube for slider, and window holder. The filter is removed and cleaned once per week. You may wish to do this twice per week with heavy use. The window holder is easy to remove and replace. During longer hair removal treatments, placing multiple window holders at the ready is useful for rapid changing. At the end of the treatment, all windows can be removed and cleaned at the same time. Windows should be cleaned with isopropyl alcohol and a soft cloth gauze or lens paper. Be careful not to leave a fingerprint by touching the window with your fingers. After each treatment, clean the inner slider area of the handpiece and the outer slider as demonstrated. Check the slider window after each treatment and be sure to clean as needed. If there is any imperfection, Change the window. As mentioned earlier, the handpiece windows should be cleaned after each treatment with isopropyl alcohol and soft gauze. Unlike the slider window, they can be used with slight imperfections. To change the cryogen container, separate the clips and remove the container. Empty the container with the cryogen key before disposing of it appropriately. A new container can be kept ready near the device, taking advantage of the warmth emitted by the device. Never actively heat the container in warm water or by any other means. Note that for the specialty delivery system there are three spot sizes, the one and a half millimeter, 3 mm, and the elliptical 3 by 10 mm. The spot size is chosen by moving the slider along the handpiece. Refer to the user manual when a fault appears. Note that the icon LVM is a portal to information for technical support. Please be sure to refer to the operator's manual for a full discussion of maintenance. This concludes the instructional video for the Gentle Max Pro and Pro Series devices. 
We hope you enjoy using your device. Thank you from the team at Cineron Candela. Cineron Candela. Science. Results. Trust.